Yeah, delighted. Um, I've said it before, I think we're just in a, in an, I suppose, a period of a game where there are a lot of really good top order batters available to us. Um, and I, I don't know why that is. I know a lot of guys who tend to score the majority of the runs for their county bat at the top of the order in the top three or four. So that might be the case. Um, but it's, it's great to see those two coming in and, and score runs. Obviously, Tom more so. The other day, the way he played um, was the way that we see him in a Somerset shirt, which is awesome. Um, and David's just continued to score runs at a, at a rate. So his, his start to his international career is unlike many others. Um, certainly one area of our game where we're lucky is having Ben and Moen in and around our strongest 11. So your all-rounder is a seamer and a spinner. Um, if only one of those to play in a side in India, majority of the time, I think it will have to be a, a potentially a, a seamer. Um, I'm not sure you can get away against certain teams with a spinner. And likewise, other teams, you need a, a seeming all round. Thanks. Cheers, Dan. Okay, Lawrence, please. Hi, Owen. Um, do you feel in terms of your own batting that you're, you're hitting the ball as, as sweetly as you ever have done? Yeah, definitely. Um, and the numbers definitely back that up. Um, even before this series started, certainly we didn't T20 cricket the last two years of international cricket and some domestic are my best numbers to date, uh, which is great because if, you, if I can combine that, well, a little bit of that, not all, always going to perform like I have done, but a little bit of that with experience, I think that'll go a long way. Um, certainly when I'm moving up and down the order, say between four and six, to try and uh, win a game. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice that I'm feeling good, but it's, it's actually replicated in, in the numbers as well. Experience and uh, confidence and actually the, the roles that I play, I'm more comfortable with. I think um, before I became captain, jumping up and down the order, I didn't feel that comfortable with. Um, but now that it's my decision, I, I feel more at ease, say if I was slipping down to six and putting them stuff ahead of me. I'd feel more comfortable with that than I probably would beforehand. Um, Fine-tuned selection of the, the final 11, which is very hard to do a year after the World Cup. Yeah. The teams that you pit them against are the best in the world. Like, do they perform in that way against the best in the world? Or do they, do, do they perform just against a certain number of teams? But the, the, the three guys that we have at the top of the order in our strongest 11, and that includes Joss, do it against everybody, um, which is obviously one of our strengths. Um, whereas if you were to bring one of the younger guys in um, who's less experienced and, and less runs under his belt, um, it might be a, a bigger challenge. Um, but moving forward, I, like, I'm hoping if it doesn't work out at the top, we, we have options. I think that's the best position we've been in. Two quickest bowlers, as in Wood and Archer, yeah. uh, you, they would still have a role to play, wouldn't they, in, in India? Absolutely. Um, I think it, it emphasises more so on the really flat, slow wickets. You know, if you have that extra bit of pace, you still can skip through somebody and maybe bowl a wide yorker or hit the stumps and get a wicket. But when you're a little bit slower, that, that pace isn't there. So it almost, it's, it's difficult to skip, skip through somebody, basically, unless the ball is reverse swing. So the fact that some of them want to come back and play, I think, is, is great, particularly after being in the bubble or the um, biosecure environment for so long. But the options we have, obviously, with, with Joss at the top of the order at the moment is to alternate and play around if need be, if that formula doesn't work, um, which brings top order guys back into the front.